Alright, hello guys, Shrog here, I'm from the Redstone Development Foundation, and today I'm bringing to you a 8, or oh, 14 by 14 touchpad. This touchpad is big, it's, <laughs> it's a good explanation for it, but in all seriousness, what it does is it gets the user's X and Z coordinates and displays them on a large screen. Now, due to an updating bug, sadly this does not work to the kind of expectations that we expected it to work to, but it still works, which is what matters. Uh, so what it does is, as you can see there, it's displaying my current location, and blink, blink, blink. So I'm on the screen line in this black line, and as you can see there at the top, there's a green bar, and over to the side of it, there's a black bar, and it's meeting up. And that's exactly where I am. So if I can come over here, let's jump onto this one. May have to refresh it. And jumping up, and on occasion there are a few pixels which are blocked by pistons, but we can't really help that. So this is ex displaying my exact XZ coordinates, which is very cool. So black, green, black, green. Now what I can do to this is I can push one of these buttons here, and I can find it, and this hair will basically turn this pixel on and leave it in that state. So then I could say, jump onto this pad, and I have to refresh it. Oh no. Push the button again, and you now it's saved. So I didn't want to put that pixel there. I can erase it and go back to my edit. So I could say, jump back onto this plate here, and it may not work. So I will we'll just refresh it. And oh no, that didn't work. Yeah. Okay, so this has, should work now. If it doesn't, I'm confused. Alright, so I'm confused. Let's just run over here then. It could be the server that's lagging. I don't know. So let's just push the button for another save. So I've saved that one up here. This pressure plate. Let's go back to refresh. And there we go. Save. So, so there we go. That's the touchpad. Didn't save it, but lots of things. Could be server lag, not too sure. But anyway, how this works is we've got this giant touchpad there, and this here uses signal length to decode the, the positions. So if I drop that here and I'll place a entity on the, that pressure plane there pressure pad, you'll see that it's powering these repeaters here, which actually, when you come on here, sorry about that, um, you'll notice that it decays the signal length and it stops powering right here. So now this is the last repeater to be powered. Uh, of course, if we place the signal a few blocks over, like say here, you'll it's quite obvious that one of these repeaters over here would be powered instead of this one down here. Now we've got two of these, one here as well, so this decodes each of the coordinates. Right, so now this repeater is powering this line. It decays slowly until it can't decay anymore and stops here. So now you may notice that it's kind of got two levels here. This level here is well, it effectively works like an AND gate. Think of it that way. This this wire here powers this repeater here, which unpowers this torch, thus turning this wire off. But if the signal was one block longer, this repeater here would be powered, and that would power this wire here. And as you can see, it it won't work because this wire is powered. Now if you look at all the rest of them, they're all powered except for these two because they broke the wires here and here. Now let me just flip this things like that and some in the way. I oh, can't. That's the that's because that's a pumpkin. But anyway, so we've got that plugged up. Now that's one of our coordinates, the other coordinate we will be represented down there. Now this is where I come over to our 8x8 model 
and show you how we turn those two coordinates into a pixel on the screen. So we've got this kind of crisscross section here. And oops, I forgot to place a entity on the pressure pads. So we'll just sort of pump it on there. Now we've got our position. So here's the wire that we disabled. Now that's going to continue around and upwards in a kind of staircase fashion. Now it's going to pass each one of these. So this wire here is powered. That's This is representing, I, I'll call it a Z coordinate. This is representing one of the Zs and this is powering a repeater there. You probably can't see it very well. But this is powering a repeater and this wire is not powering that repeater. If both wires were off, as is the case with this wire here and this one here. So as you can see, both wires are off and the repeater's off, thus making the cursor blink. Because we've got a circuit in here which acts, which has a T flip flop, an AND gate, and a pulsing circuit. This here, when the T flip flop is um, activated by a button, it will ask the AND gate, well it won't ask the AND gate, it's all hardware based, but if the AND gate um, is has one side of it, which is this side, if that's powered, then, or if it's not powered in this case, and then the button is pressed, that means the other side's not powered, that means the T flip flop will be toggled, and thus changing the state of the output. Now, that is effectively all I have for you today. Uh, if you enjoyed the video, it would be awesome if you could like and subscribe. There will be a schematic download for this in the description. And I guess have a good day.